All right, this is um, this one is done by Archana. I just took a model to um, to show you how to take um, angles, okay, in or, or any angle for um, hold on, how to make this disappear. Okay. okay, now what you see here is the perspective um, image of this of this model. So we can delete this. So this is the perspective image. You can you can take any angle you like. Okay, let's say this is um, one uh, one image that you want to show. Um, tips. If you look at this measurement, um, you can you can play with the um, the angle of the perspective. Let's say this is how you position it, and then you click on zoom, and then you can see the field of view is thirty five degree. Can you see this on the right side and the bottom left? Uh, sorry, on the bottom right of the screen, uh, there is field of view 35 degree. So by default, um, SketchUp will give you this view. And then um, let's say if um, this looks okay already, but I just uh, I, I will show you um, how to change the field of view. Um, you see now it's the D5. Now let's say um, if this is a building and then it's quiet, um, quiet big maybe, and then we want to make it wider, so we can widen the angle of view. Let's say now it's the D5. You just type 50, for example, if we want to make the field of view 50 degree. So can you see the difference? Uh, so this is a wider angle. So this is how to take it. Um, if imagine this is a building, okay? Imagine this is a building. Normally, a good perspective would um, show um, human eye view, okay? Imagine this is a, a building, right? So this is a human eye view of the building, where this bird eye view, okay? So um, you can play with the width of the view, okay, field of view. So um, this is either 45 or you want to make it even um, wider, 70, okay, you can play with it. So it's quite dramatic. Lah. Okay, can you see the difference? So this is um, 70. Now go back, um, let's see if it's now 40. Um, so this is a normal... Uh, I mean, default view that the SketchUp gives you. So that is perspective. Now, let's say if you want to take um, view, um, is for example, um, elevation, um, like front view, rear view, or side views. Now what we can do, if you look at this toolbar here, um, you choose one tool, which is front. Okay, um, right, I'm just, okay, for example, this one. So it's giving you um, front view of this chest, uh, but um, this is not an actual elevation um, because it still um, it is actually still on perspective angle. It is a perspective image. Um, we want uh, for elevation we we want a flat um, view. So what we can do is you go to camera. And then um, you have to uncheck this perspective. Okay, okay. This um, this is not uh, this is um, this exercise is not for um, for your assignment. Okay, this is for the next um, assignments. I'm just giving you um, example on how to how to take uh, how to capture view. 
All right, so this is the front view. Can you see the difference? If you uncheck, if you uncheck this perspective, so what you can see is a flat shot of this image. Um, where if you check it again, the perspective image, so it's giving you a perspective angle. Even though it is front view, but um, SketchUp gives you perspective angle. So whenever you are taking um, elevations, remember you have to uncheck this perspective here. Okay, and then, um, then this is the side view. Okay, this is the rear view. Um, hopefully you see the difference. Um, another thing is, okay, this is ISO view, isometric. Can you see if we are doing, uh, if we uncheck that, see that it's giving you an isometric um, angle, right? Now, if we check the perspective, uh, now you have this perspective here. Okay, that is, um, uh, that is on, uh, uh, that is on um, taking, um, shot for um, elevations. All right, now um, let's say if you, we are doing this elevation, taking this elevation, okay, imagine this is a building you got. Um, what, what we can do before we capture the image, um, you can turn on the shadow. Can you see this here, shadow? Or if you cannot see at the, at the palette here, um, you can find shadow. You can find sh shadow somewhere here. Shadows. So this will show sh shadow. So what you can do is you um, click on this, turn on the shadow, and then you can have the shadow. Can you see the difference? Okay. Okay, this is shadow. So um, you can always um, you can always play with the shadow. Okay, now what is in here? So this is um, time. If you can see this, this is a slider here. So you can slide. Um, now is uh, showing noon, which is one. Um, 130 p.m. Um, you can play with the uh, angle of the sun. Okay, let's say, but okay, this is not in Malaysia. Let's see if it's in. Uh oh. Oh, well, I don't think they have the. Mm, I don't know how it turned black now. <laughs> Okay, let's just go back. I don't know. Um, I have not tried in Malaysia normally. Uh, uh, let's just go back to the previous one. Okay, this one. Um, okay, can you see the difference? Uh, this is how you play with the, with the shadow. So, uh, this is time and the next one is date. So, color date, you can see J, F, M. This is the month. Okay, the months are January, February. So this shows February, the sun in February. Uh, so you can uh, you can play with this also, unless we are doing simulation for um, study on the shadow, the actual shadow. Then you have to really um, really set the time, really set the um, the zone, okay, the time zone, and then, okay, that's, I'm a bit curious, I have not tried this. Hmm. Use sun for shading. I don't know what happened if we use Malaysia time, or maybe they don't have memory for that, I don't know. <laughs> right, so, um, if, if you think that, okay, this side is you can you can you can uh, make the dark area um, lighter or if you think this one is too light you can make the light side a bit darker uh, that is how you play with the shadow okay now let's say if this um, front um, view 
remember you want to take the elevation so you have to uncheck the perspective so this is what you get even though um, can you see the difference this is flat you see the base uh, you you see the base you don't see, you, you you won't be able to see the floor like this because um, it is an elevation so it gives you a flat shot image of this um, of this um, model any questions so far so remember this is very important um, that is how you, if uh, that is um, how you take elevations okay the next the next thing is um, how to capture the image how to capture this image I wonder how you captured this image hopefully this is um, hopefully you did the right thing but what you can do is you go to file and then go to export when you export you have to export the 2d graphic all right this 2d graphic will um, this is where you can um, save your file okay you can choose where you want to save your file All right, um, okay, you can name your file uh, or um, now go to options. Um, I don't know whether, uh, I don't think by default they will give you, but this is um, the um, resolution that I always use, minimum. The minimum resolution that I always use is 3000 pixels. Um, with so I think I mentioned something the assignment did I mention something uh, a four size digital consists of two different angles oh no I didn't mention on the okay the, the difference is I think if we by default they will give you use view size if I'm not mistaken or it's um, smaller pixels um, try to give 3000 at least the the bigger you give um, the better the quality of the file but of, co of course the file will be um, um, will be more um, bigger lah, will be bigger um, but 3000 should be okay so go for better quality and then uh, you, remember you can go to 4000 okay 5000 it depends on depends on um, how you're going to um, how you're going to use it if you're going to print it bigger resolution and um, for example you're going to print it for uh, for banner um, try uh, just do a bigger resolution so I think 3000 is enough uh, normally 3000 is enough so just click OK and then it JPEG image. Okay, export. Oh, you cannot see. What do you see now? Because I'm opening the JPEG. Huh? Nothing. The drawing? Just gray. Oh, just gray. Okay, because uh -huh. Okay. Okay. This is the image that we captured. Tadi lah. Okay. That is how you capture image. You export and then um, save. Okay, the sharing you the SketchUp file again. Any question? No, madam. Yeah. Hello. No, no, eh? No. <laughs> okay. Um, any question? Okay, that is one thing. Since we are at it, 
So you can see the export here. Um, what's the difference between 2D and 3D model? Okay, when you, we go to 2D graphic, so other than JPEG, it will give you other uh, options. You can go to PDF, EPS. Um, this is uh, for Photoshop. And then PNG and DWG. See, you can export your drawing to DWG. This is under export 2D. Okay, export 2D. So, um, for example, kita cuba. For example, you have this view and then, okay, this view. Instead of go to export it to JPEG, go to 2D graphic. And then instead of JPEG, pergi ke DWG. Okay, when you export to um, AutoCAD, go to options. Mm, full scale one to one I think that's the only thing that you can any separate only is okay that's the only thing that all right AutoCAD version you can go to AutoCAD 2000 lah. release 12 13 14 um, are the previous versions very old ones uh, you can go to 2000 or maybe 2013 okay good 2013 Okay, then export. Um, pasti dia akan cakap um, AutoCAD export audit okay means okay, no error. Wait, where did I where did I keep that? Uh, oh, on the same file. Okay. Nak tengok ke hasil dia? Jangan. Just stop sharing first. I'm opening the drawing, the AutoCAD drawing. Meaning that if you um, if you try to model your building later, try to um, build on SketchUp as accurate as possible or as good as possible, as complete as possible, because you can always um, export it to AutoCAD. Okay. Maksudnya, in other words, jangan buat cincai-cincai lah. Okay. Now I'm opening. Okay, can you see this? Uh, this is an AutoCAD drawing. Uh, so just now we export it to 2D, can export 2D. So this is what you get, a 2D image, uh, a 2D drawing. But when you, but this AutoCAD, it will give you uh, every, every um, intersection of any lines, they can put a scan your line. Okay. Ada uh, leceh sikit lah, but at, at least you have one, one drawing. Of what you have drawn in SketchUp. Oops. Okay. So what happens if if we if we share three D? then it will give you 3d um it will give you 3d um, drawing for your sketchup you can also do that export 3d model and you can look at the um, options here normally if we want to um uh, normally if you want to save it is either you save it into 3ds or dwg if you want to go to um, um if you want to save it into AutoCAD drawing. So 3DS, um, most of um, 3D modeling softwares, they use, um, they have this 3DS. So let's say um, if you want to open it into um, 3D Max, um, you want to op uh, open it into 3D Max, then you can 
and export it into 3ds and then open your model in 3d max uh, that can be done okay all right any questions so far no man.